I mean, obviously a lot of people write about microdosing. There's a lot of proponents of it. There've been books, you know, a lot of people swear by it, but the actual number of clinical trials have been as vanishingly small. The only ones that I know about are actually citizen science ones where um, they actually got people to mail in their drugs and then they randomized people and sent them back their drug or a placebo. It was very clever. Um, uh, it was done by the Imperial Group in London. And in that study, they found that actually people who thought they were getting psilocybin, microdose, um, got better, irrespective of whether they were or not, which kind of suggests that maybe it wasn't helping. But that's just one study. And, um, you know, I think, you know, prospective randomized trials could be done, but they, but they just haven't yet. But I know that there are several that are ongoing. I think people have not studied them for a couple of reasons. One, you know, you just like legal, like sort of uh, liability, right? Like you give people a, a, a jar of uh, micro, you know, micro doses of psychedelics, but that could be a macro dose. And, you know, I think people were worried like, what would happen? And anything bad happened while the person was out in the world, it, 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 you know, they'd be responsible. It's not really a fair thing, but I think that's probably. And then I think people get really excited about the macro dosing and the transformative experience. And, um, you know, micro dosing uh, for a lot of people could just be like another antidepressant be like an SSRI, you know, maybe a particularly effective SSRI. Um, that doesn't mean we shouldn't study it. I'm just saying that uh, it just hasn't been studied that much. Mm -hmm. So, and, and even what it means to be a micro dose, I think is also not well defined. Um, you know, people do it differently. You know, some people talk about they up their dose until they feel it, whatever that means. And then they back off from there and then they take that every three weeks. That's a very common, every three days, sorry. That's a very common um, procedure, but other people do it differently. And I think another related issue is the mushrooms. Most people are, the vast, vast majority of people are using mu psychedelic mushrooms, not synthetic psilocybin like in our trials. Mm -hmm. And the mushrooms have a lot of benefits in that they grow easily and you know, um, people know them, but they're highly variable in, the, in their concentration. It can be almost a five to 10 time concentration differences. Mm -hmm. So even when you're microdosing, exactly how much psilocybin you're getting is often not known.